name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today I am checking out of my hotel here in Amsterdam. I did spend the last 48 hours or so here in Amsterdam. If you didn't see my last episode, be sure to go check that out if you're interested in learning more about what you can do and see here in Amsterdam, and also a couple of the places that you can definitely check out on where to stay. So today is cruise day. <laughs> I am so excited. Today is my very first river cruise. So I am going to be sailing with Avalon Waterways and we are doing an active and discovery cruise, which um, it's a little bit more of a different itinerary than typical river cruises. I'm going to meet up with the ship right now. And then I'm actually doing one of their optional excursions to Zanze Chans. So very excited to um, see the windmills this afternoon. Hopefully the weather cooperates. Very excited to be boarding my first river cruise ship and seeing how this all goes. So I am all packed, ready to go. So let's get checked out of the Mercure Amsterdam North Station and head to the Avalon Waterways Artistry 2. Let's go! I took the metro from Nord Station to Amsterdam Central Station, where I was able to walk easily to my Avalon Waterways River Ship. Typically, you do receive the location of your river ship approximately 48 hours prior to boarding the ship. So be sure to check in and see where your river ship is docked. Once I approached the Avalon Artistry 2, after about a 10 minute walk from Amsterdam Central, I was greeted by a crew member who helped me with my luggage into the lobby. Once in the lobby, I was warmly greeted by the receptionist who checked me in for my cruise. They took my picture, gave me a welcome drink, and scanned my passport. I was then shown to my panorama suite, which was already ready for me when I boarded the ship at around 11 o'clock in the morning. I absolutely loved my panorama suite on Avalon Waterways Artistry 2. The bed faces the window, which I think is a great design feature. And of course, I did have a French balcony. The bed itself was so comfortable and the pillows were amazing. The bed was definitely one of the comfiest beds I've slept in on a cruise thus far. I also really appreciated how Avalon Waterways included complimentary water in the room and kept them refilled. There was also a mini bar in the stateroom, however, it was not included and the pricing was easily found on the desk. There was quite a bit of storage within the stateroom. The safe unfortunately was on the small side and I couldn't fit my laptop in there, but it was nice that they had a full length mirror inside one of the cabinets and also robes and slippers. Another thing I appreciated about the panorama suites on Avalon Waterways is how large the bathrooms are on board. There is tons of space for getting ready and also the shower was actually really large and spacious. They also use L'Occitane amenities inside the bathrooms, which they smell amazing. I also appreciated the small touch that Avalon Waterways has two different colors of towels inside the bathroom, which means if you're traveling with a friend or a significant other, you know whose towels are whose. Underneath the vanity sink, there's obviously a garbage area, a hairdryer, Kleenex, and also more storage. By the desk area, there are European outlets, and by the bed, there are USB outlets. So be sure to bring adapters if you are coming from North America, as you will need them as most outlets were European plugs. After I was all unpacked, I stored my luggage underneath the bed, which there was lots of space to do so. 
It was then time to have a light lunch at the Panorama Bistro before we set off on our excursion to Zanze Shans. It was then time to board our bus for the about 20 to 25 minute ride to Zanze Shans. Unfortunately, the weather did turn for the worst and it was pouring rain when we arrived. We had a guide with us for Zanze Shans and we learned quite a bit. Our first stop was to learn how they make wooden clogs at a demonstration. We watched the step-by-step -step process on how a block of fresh cut poplar wood using various machines that shape the clog using the other side as a template. It was really interesting to watch. At the end of his demonstration, you could see how fresh the wood was as he could blow out the moisture out of the wooden clog he had just shaped. Then you're able to walk through the gift shop and I actually did pick up a small little ornament from here. There are also a couple fun places where you can take some photos for your Instagram. I caught a glimpse of one of the farmers actually putting away his sails and stopping his windmill. We were able to go and tour one of the windmills which is used to actually grind up chalk and pigments to make lines for football fields or soccer fields. Also, some of these pigments that are ground are for art, such as mineral paints and whatnot. It was really interesting to see because this is how they would have made some of these paints way back when Rembrandt and Van Gogh was around. We could then actually go outside, even though it was pouring with rain, and see the outer workings up close of what the windmill looked like. Our next stop was a cheese factory where we learned how they make some of the best Dutch cheeses around. After a brief demonstration on cheese making, we were able to go into the shop and taste a selection of cheeses, which they were all so good and some very, very unique flavors. If you're ever visiting Amsterdam, I highly suggest visiting Zanze Shans. It's not far outside of Amsterdam and it's a really unique place to check out. So I definitely suggest it and I will be coming back here for sure when the weather is definitely nicer the next time I visit Amsterdam myself.
It was then time to head back to the Avalon Artistry 2 to have a much needed hot shower and get ready for our sail away. After my shower, I peeked outside and saw these swans and two babies just swimming alongside our ship. Soon after, I headed up to the Panorama Bar where we were starting our sail away. We did have to check in to make sure that we had done our safety briefing on board and then we could sit and enjoy our welcome cocktail party. As we were sailing out of Amsterdam, our cruise director, Hendrik Jan, introduced key members of the team and we were all given a glass of sparkling wine to toast to an amazing cruise ahead by the captain. After our sparkling wine toast, we headed downstairs to the restaurant where we were settled in for dinner. At this point, you could really see that the water level in the Netherlands is actually higher and the land where people live is lower, which I found to be really fascinating. For dinner, I started off with the marinated artichoke heart salad, followed by the Dutch potato soup. Then for my main course, I had the fillet of pork wellington with a Madeira sauce, grilled asparagus, and a Kumara mash. Dessert was a cherry ice cream, which was absolutely delicious. Beer and wine is included on board with your lunch and dinner and the wine selection was really good. After dinner, I was starting to get a bit tired and just in time as we had entered our very first lock of our sailing. I love the fact that they actually turn on a fireplace on the TV during your turndown service and this is why I love the fact the bed is facing the window. I opened up my French balcony and just enjoyed the evening and sunset as we sailed along the river. So it is time to call it a night. I hope you really enjoyed today's episode of me boarding my Avalon Waterways River Cruise here on the Artistry 2. 
I had such a great day in Zanze Shans, even though it was pouring with rain. <laughs> um, it was still a great experience. I highly suggest if you're ever in the Amsterdam area to go check it out. It is really a um, really beautiful village, so definitely go check it out. Um, so it is actually uh, quarter past 10. Dinner doesn't start until seven o'clock, at least seven o'clock on um, river ships or at least with Avalon waterways. So yeah, it's a, definitely a different cruising experience than ocean. <laughs> but so far I'm really enjoying the cruise. The crew is so lovely and I am just taking in the last bit of this sunset right now and it is stunning out there. Yeah, now I am getting ready for bed. I have a bit of a lazy morning tomorrow, which is nice. <laughs> so we are actually heading to Middleburg, um, but we are getting off in a village before then um, because I am actually doing a tour of the Delta Works tomorrow. So that is the flood prevention system that they have here in the Netherlands. So if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because there are several episodes to come in this Avalon Waterways River Cruise series that I am now doing. So thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do hit that subscribe button down below. It does help support my channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.